Hi everyone, this is Dave Vellante and I want to welcome you to our celebration of Exascale Day, a community event with support from Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Now Exascale Day is October 18th, that's 1018, as in 10 to the power of 18. And on that day, we celebrate the scientists and researchers who make breakthrough discoveries with the assistance of some of the most sophisticated supercomputers in the world, ones that can run at Exascale. Now in this program, we're going to kick off the weekend and discuss the significance of exascale computing, how we got here, why it's so challenging to get to the point where we're at now, where we can perform almost 10 to the 18th floating point operations per second, or an exaflop. We should be there by 2021. And importantly, what innovations and possibilities exascale computing will unlock. So today, we've got a great program for you. We're not only going to dig into a bit of the history of supercomputing, we're going to talk with experts, folks like Dr. Ben Bennett, who's doing some work with the UK government. And he's going to talk about some of the breakthroughs that we can expect with Exascale. You also hear from experts like Professor Mark Parsons of the University of Edinburgh, who cut his teeth at CERN in Geneva, and Dr. Brian Pijanowski of Purdue University, who's studying biodiversity. Uh, we're going to also hear about supercomputers in space. This is a great action going on with supercomputers up at the International Space Station. I mean, think about that. Powerful, high performance, water-cooled supercomputers running on solar and mounted overhead. That's right. Even though at the altitude of the International Space Station, there's 90% of the Earth's gravity, objects, including humans, they're essentially in a state of free fall. At 400 kilometers above Earth, there's no air. You're in a vacuum. Like, have you ever been in the Tower of Terror at Disney? You know that free fall ride? Or a nosedive in an airplane? I have. <laughs> if you have binoculars around your neck, they would float. So the supercomputers can actually go into the ceiling. Crazy, right? And that's not all. We're going to hear from experts on what the exascale era will usher in for not only space exploration, but things like weather forecasting, life sciences, complex modeling, and all types of scientific endeavors. So stay right there for all the great content. You can use the hashtag Exascale Day on Twitter and enjoy the program. Thanks everybody for watching.